So this is day three where we're going to make our cartoon connections for our social skill, personal space. Now, I have a very short clip from the movie The Good Dinosaur to show you. I was watching this movie with my daughter Nia and she thought this part was so funny. And I thought it was kind of awesome because it had everything to do with our social skill. So I'm going to play this clip and I want you to tell me what you saw that relates to personal space. Hi. Lying sons and crawdads picking on a kid? <laughs> well, ain't you just the cutest thing? He likes you. <laughs> Imagine that, Ramsey. A ninja stinky face. Match! Boundaries? Yes! <laughs> Is my personal bubble. Nah, that ain't your bubble. This is your bubble. <laughs> Nash, get out of your sister's bubble. You got no business being out of here. What did you see? What did you notice? Yeah, the brother and sister dinosaur were like completely in their personal space and they even used our language. They said personal space bubble. Right? So when they were roughhousing and the other and the brother was like right up against her, then they were back and forth. They were in each other's personal space bubble. And you even heard her say it. Get out of my personal space bubble. Or maybe that was the dad. Now, this is my challenge to you. I want you, when you're watching cartoons today, tomorrow, for the rest of the week, I want you to notice if there's any times that your favorite cartoon characters get inside each other's personal space and might need to blow a personal space bubble like you just learned this week. If you notice it, I want you to stop. Tell your mom, tell your dad, tell your sister, tell your brother, anybody that's in your house. I want you to stop and tell them what you just saw and what you noticed about that cartoon character's personal space. I'm really excited to hear what you guys come up with.